Hey everybody. Today I'm going to tie my version of the Brudex Cicada. Um, it's the talk of the East Coast right now. I'm here in Pennsylvania and we're patiently waiting for it. It should be epic fishing time. But the way the weather's been the past two weeks, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see it till late June, July maybe. It's just been crazy. I was out fishing this past Saturday and we went from rain to snow to sleet to hail to sunshine all within a 20 minute span. So who knows? Just keep waiting and just keep tying some of these bugs up. But let's get started. In the vise here, I've got a Tiemco 5262 in a size 6. And I'm going to be using UTC Ultra Thread 140 denier in fluorescent fire orange. Start about the midpoint of the shank. I want to go about to where the barb starts. Next, I'm going to tie in some 2 millimeter black foam. I've cut a strip. Maybe about half an inch wide. Maybe not quite. I'm going to take and Make a sort of a V-shape. Tie that in. Make sure we got some thread here showing. Make sure we cover that up. I mean, you probably don't have to. It's nothing in nature's perfect but just a little more there that's pretty close go back up towards the eye next I'm going to use the STS trilobal dub and fluorescent orange I did use the hot orange ice dub for a dozen of the flies already and that worked pretty well but I ran out so now I'm going to use this stuff and this stuff works pretty well you don't need a doesn't need to be pretty We're going to take and wind that back. It's going to get two layers, one going towards the back and then one coming back towards the front. Some more here. Just a little bit more back. Okay, I'm going to wax my thread. Grab some more dubbing here. And this is where we'll start going back towards the eye of the hook. Like I said, it don't have to be pretty. I'm just trying to build bulk. Just 
a little bit more. That's pretty good. We're going to take our foam, pinch it, take two wraps in the back, two wraps in the front, several wraps, lock that down in. Then we're going to take, bump our thread to the left, and catch that foam. have something something to that effect next I'm gonna tie in a set of legs I'm using the barred crazy legs in the orange and gold flake um, other guys have been using the hairline centipede legs just take and I just do let the thread hold the tension on the on the leg. Cut it. And same thing to the other side. Try to get them pretty even. Same thing. Red tension, holding the leg there, cut it, next we're going to, I go two turns down the center, Two turns to the front of the leg, front of the leg facing away towards the hook eye, and back to the center again. That kind of splays that. That splays this leg here. Now a lot of guys for this next step are using orange crystal flash and Crelex. At the moment right now, Crelex is not available from everything I've seen. And for good reason. I mean, it, it's a good product. But uh, what I use is burnt orange Antron yarn. And I take a strip, the width of the cardboard... And I divide it into two pieces, like that. And I also take angel hair in the green pearl. And I get a clump about like that it's not it's actually not a whole lot it looks like a lot but it's not and I take the Antron yarn put one in the back and one in the front so it's like that I take and I place it You want it to go right in the center of the legs. Take one wrap. Hold down on hold down tension. You want to figure eight this, but you want to go between the legs. You don't want to go on the outside of them. Make sure you don't trap any of the Angel hair or the Antron yarn. 
We'll come back on this side, around, back on this side, down through. Give it a little tug, pull everything back. You want to wrap in front of the legs. You get something that looks like that. Now what I do is I come in here and I give it a little trim. You have something like that. And take, try to pull everything back at once. Take your foam, fold it up over. Try to hold everything. And then take a bunch of wraps. Like so. Oh, I gotta grab my whip finisher. take and whip finish it and I take this foam I put the scissors against the back of the foam come in and cut it Kind of get something to that effect. You might have to move it around a little. I take my wings, kind of pull them back a little bit so you expose them legs. And there you have it. The Brudex Cicada that we're patiently, patiently waiting on. I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please subscribe. I'm going to try to put out some more videos on tying flies and I also paint lures. Um, I got a couple ideas for lures that I'm going to try to do with a video. Um, if, you, if you'd like to see anything else, please let me know. I'm, I'm pretty open. I, I don't get a lot of time to experiment with different things, but it's a, and this is the finished cicada. Put some head cement on the thread wraps and as soon as the weather cooperates and these bugs emerge, I think it's going to be a great time. If you like what you see, please subscribe, um, hit the like button, and I hope to see you on the water. Until next time, thanks for watching.